In the petrol stations, the recuperation of the volatile organic compounds, VOC, generated while the fuel is being delivered or distributed is a real danger. Danger for the customers because of the gases they inhale. Danger during the transport by the supply tankers. Danger for the environment when the gases leak through the degassing valves. In the petrol stations, when the vehicles are being filled, the pressure inside the tanks falls. At the same time, the VOC gases contained in the car tanks are given off when fuel is being delivered. In order to eliminate all risk of emission, the volatile organic compounds are sucked by means of nozzles situated on the gas distribution guns and connected to a vacuum pump located in the gasoline distribution device. Each gasoline distribution device keeps track of the volume of the recovered volatile organic compounds by means of a specific meter. For each gasoline distribution device, the information related to the recovered volumes are sent to the main office, thus allowing the attendant to monitor the adequate performance of the entire recovery unit. As diesel fuel is not generating any volatile organic compounds, the fuel distribution nozzles do not need to be equipped with any specific recovery system. The volatile organic compounds recovered during the unloading of unleaded 95 octane or of unleaded 98 octane gasoline are sent back in the unleaded 95 octane gasoline tanks and a slight overpressure in the tank is achieved as a consequence of the operation. Moreover, the extreme volatility of the fuel generates important releases of gases VOC, which further increase the pressure inside the unleaded 95 octane tank. This overpressure is limited thanks to a connection with the unleaded 98 octane tank, which has become in under pressure as the pump delivers fuel. If the pressure is becoming too important, the excess of gas, VOC, is then automatically evacuated in the atmosphere through the degassing valves. As the tanks are being filled, the VOC are recuperated by the supply tankers. Full as they are, they represent a real risk. From this fact, the Covaltech company, in collaboration with the IFP, French Petrol Institute, has developed the Optim gas process. Security, ecology and economy are the characteristics of this process, which offers a lot of advantages. This system is composed of a compressor connected with tubular thermic exchangers fixed on the pipes of the degassing valves of the existing installation. When vehicles come to fill up with fuel, the excess of pressure in the unleaded 95 tank is transferred into the unleaded 98 tank, which is under-pressurized. If the pressure is still too high in those two tanks, the excess of VOC passes through the thermic exchanger, which cools the gases and so liquefies most of the VOC. The fuel which is then collected is reintroduced into the unleaded 95 tank and the non-toxic gases are directed through the second exchanger towards the diesel tanks which are under pressurized too. When the fuel is being delivered, the tanker supplies the different tanks. The VOC passes through the Covaltech exchanger in which they are liquefied and reintroduced into the unleaded 95 octane tank. Thus, the tanker collects particularly cold VOC free gases at the exit of the exchanger. During the filling of the fuel tanks, the Covaltech process generates an amount of fuel in the order of 1 litre every 16 seconds. Numerous controls have been completed both at the inlet and at the outlet of the equipment by Explorer an independent laboratory accredited by the French Ministry of Environment and by ADAMI, the French Agency for Environmental Issues. During fuel delivery, the water which may be present in the vapour phase existing in the fuel tank is converted into ice. At the end of the fuel delivery step, a defrosting cycle is activated in order to eliminate the trapped water. The Optim gas system ensures the right balancing between volume, pressure temperature through the well-known equation PV equals NRT both in the tank of the fuel delivery truck and in the storage tank of the gasoline station. After the installation the personnel at the petrol station have nothing else to do. 
The operations of preventive maintenance, of possible adjustments and information to follow up performances and profitability are managed by the web, allowing an optimal reactivity and efficiency. The installation of the Optim gas process is simple and quick. Two days are enough on any existing installations. The Optim gas process has been used for several years by major companies and it has stood the test of time. It offers petrol stations the opportunity to become today sites of treatment and valorization of their own waste, thus combining security, profitability and respect of the environment.